What is up Legends, Mod Legend and Theodore, the Magic Mascot, back with a really cool card trick. Basically principle tutorial. So, um, this is one of those skills that every single magician needs in the arsenal. It's how to do magician's choice. Now what magician's choice is, let's say you want to force someone to pick something. Let's say you want to force them to pick the Ace of Clubs. And let's say in whichever way you want, you control their card to the top. And this is just the most remedial version of it, but there's obviously multiple different iterations of how to use this. But basically what you can do is, you can force their card to the top, and now you want them to choose this back. But how can you do that? Now, the key to Magician's Choice is all about your wording. You don't want to say, which one of these two packs do you choose? You just say, which one of these two piles? If they say this one, you never said which one must I eliminate or which one must I keep. If they say this one, you just eliminate this one. And if they say this one, you just take this one. So I it can work with more than more than a couple of more than two piles as well. So let's say you do four piles and you want to make sure they get this card. Because now they can pick any one of these top cards. And you make it clear that they can pick any one. But let's just eliminate two and you'll say I'm gonna cover these two or these two. Which two do you want me to cover? And if they say these two you just eliminate these two. If they say these two you keep these two. Now let's say they say these two you keep these two and you eliminate these two. But again, you, it's all about the wording you use. Not which ones must I eliminate, just these two or these two. And now you're left with these two and you know you want them to pick this one. And let's say, you'll say this, would you like me to cover this one or this one? And if they cover this one, you remove this one. If they cover this one, you remove this one. It's as simple as that. That's how Magician's Choice works. You just basically use very ambiguous phrasing. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, peace.